Hey everyone, today we are making some turkey thighs in the Instant Pot. This is very simple to make and it comes out pretty quick. It cooks up in about 30 minutes and uh, we're gonna end up with a nice little gravy sauce at the bottom of our pot that we can use. Serve this with mashed potatoes or cauliflower mashed potatoes, it's delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after our chef joke. Okay, are you ready for chef joke number one? Here we go. What kind of weather does a turkey like? Foul weather. So let's get started with our recipe. And first thing you're gonna to need to know about is your Instant Pot. Now that's what I'm using today. And you wanna use the rack that comes with it, just like this. And what that's gonna do is gonna keep our uh, turkey thighs out of the liquid. Now for our turkey, you can see here I have two turkey thighs and they are very large. What we wanna do is to brown those up, get a nice little crispy golden brown exterior on these. They're so big I can't do them in the Instant Pot, so we're gonna do them over on the stove in a cast iron pan. So the first thing we're gonna do is season up our turkey thighs, I keep wanting to say chicken, it's turkey, with some salt and pepper. I have my cast iron pan here over medium, high heat. I want a nice hot pan, so I'm going to add some, add about a tablespoon of olive oil to that. And I'll grab one of these massive thighs and place it in the pan. And I'm going to do it skin side down. So we're going to let these brown up for about four or five minutes or until they're nice and golden brown. Then we're going to turn them over and do the same thing on the second side. You'll notice that I'm using a splatter guard here and it really helps keep the oil from, you know, getting all over your stove. All right, I'm going to take these off now and place them on a clean plate. So I'm going to turn the, the heat down a little bit for this. We're going to add our onion, some celery, and carrots. And we're going to saute these for about seven minutes. And then we're going to add just a little bit of salt to that. Now the pan is going to pick up these little bits from the turkey and add a lot of flavor to the sauce. It's been about seven minutes now and you can see that this is uh, cooking up, softening up. I'm going to turn the heat down. A lot of times you'll get stuff brown bits stuck to the bottom of your pan. I don't happen to have that, but that's what this next step is. It's deglazing the pan. So I just put in a little bit of wine and I'm just gonna let that cook for just a minute so that it will cook out the alcohol, at least some of it, and add some flavor. Now, some of you are gonna ask me, can I leave out the alcohol? Yes, you certainly can leave out the white wine. No problem. Use just more, just use a little bit more chicken broth. So now I'm going to go place this in the Instant Pot. So now I'll place the rack in there. And then we'll add some chicken broth to this. So in this dish here, I have my spices. I have some ground sage, thyme, basil, and then I have fresh rosemary just because I have a lot of it in my yard, so it's easy to get. So I just wanted to show you that. We'll mix this together. And I'm gonna add a pinch of salt to this because I didn't salt the second side of my thighs. And that's gonna be my little rub that I'm gonna rub over all of this along with some garlic, which I have right here. Now I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil to the tops of these just so that the spices will definitely stick. So I'm just going to kind of sprinkle this on and rub it in. And I'm going to flip it over and do the other side too. Now I have some minced garlic here that I'm going to also rub in just because I love garlic. Make sure that you coat both sides of the turkey thighs. Okay, and then if I have any spices left over in my dish, I'm gonna put them in with the sauce. 
So you got a little bit of that flavor going in there. And then we just place our thighs right on the rack. And you're gonna have to kind of turn them on end a little bit if they don't fit easily. This one here is really jumbo size. Probably should have put that one in first. There we go. All right, so we'll put our top on. And we're gonna pressure cook this for 35, sometimes I even go 40 minutes because I like it really tender. Maybe I'll go 36, what the heck, we're good to go. Our turkey is cooking for 35 minutes, so that means we have time for chef joke number two. All right, here we go. What sound does a turkey's phone make? <laughs> wing, 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 wing. If you're enjoying this video, you know how you can let me know? One easy thing you have to do is just smash the old like button, or if you don't wanna smash it, you can just click it. So I wanna thicken up my sauce in the pot there. So I'm gonna take some arrowroot, and I like to use arrowroot because uh, cornstarch is GMO. I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, the chicken broth here to this, just to make a little slurry. And if you don't have any more chicken broth, for whatever reason, you can use water. Just use cold water. All right, the instant pot is done. So I like to use a wooden spoon to release the, the pressure. Once that pressure is released, that little pin will drop down and then you know it's safe to open. Now we're gonna take the turkey thighs out of the pot and I'm gonna set them over here on, on this plate. Now I'm also gonna take the rack out, which is gonna be hot, so I'm gonna try and do it with these tongs. Hopefully I can just take it out and set it over here. Now I'm gonna turn the Instant Pot to saute. Now I only added one tablespoon of arrowroot to this. You might like your sauce to be a little thicker, so you can go maybe two tablespoons, somewhere in there. You just have to play with it. All right, so once our sauce is boiling, or bubbling like this, slow simmer, now it's time to add the arrowroot. So I just take a wooden spoon and just stir this as I'm pouring it in. Now you can see that it's thickened up just a little bit. You know, when I first tried making the turkey in the Instant Pot, I was floored by how delicious it turned out. I mean, it is moist, it is juicy, it is flavorful. It is every bit as delicious as any Thanksgiving turkey I've ever had. Now I think some nice mashed potatoes or even some cauliflower mashed potatoes would go great with this, right? So these cauliflower mashed potatoes are easy to make and they are every bit as delicious and they keep the carbs low. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, and we'll see you next time. Take care.